Hi, my name is John Michael, owner and founder of BioDry. Today we're going to describe how to clean a bank drive through lane to take your facility from looking like this to this. To clean a bank drive through lane, the following tools are necessary. Some BioDry product, both concrete and asphalt, a bladed scraper, a heavy wire brush, preferably on a gooseneck handle, to get a better angle at cleaning. And then the most important tool is the fine applicator broom. This is very important for the application of BioDry on concrete surfaces. Additional tools might be a blower and a trash receptacle. Treating the heavy oil spot is the first step. This may take a little bit of elbow grease and a little bit of BioDry product. Wire brush off any debris that's standing on the concrete surface so that we can treat the concrete with BioDry once this is done. Sweep up the excess debris and dispose of it correctly. Now we can treat the lane tops using the scraper to knock off any of those gum spots and any other debris that might be on the surface of the drive through lane or on the tops. Once BioDry is used, these gum spots don't stick anymore. Put a little bit of BioDry and broom it into the lane tops. This helps clean the top and keep it protected and obviously gives it a nice look. Next, spread a little bit of BioDry down the center of this drive through lane. One common misconception is to use the applicator as a broom. That is just not the case. This broom is used to actually push material over the surface. The first direction is side to side over the width of the lane just to get BioDry spread across the lane. Move product all the way from end to end of the lane. A little excess in the center on the oil spot to really work into the rest of the oils in the pores of the concrete. If they're dark, work a little harder with the broom and maybe the wire brush again to work the BioDry down into that oil stain. When it turns white, it's saturated all the product it can take. And that's when it goes to work, breaking down the hydrocarbons. The next step is lengthways, all the way down the edges. Again, only pushing the applicator broom, not pushing the broom back and forth, but just lengthways. Moving the broom in one direction in front of you. Let the broom do the work. Down the sides and then down the center. The final step is to pull the excess off of the sides where the wheels will come through this drive through lane. This helps avoid tracking. Use only just enough product to clean the lane. Excess will only cause trouble in tracking. If you've used too much, pick the excess up. If you leave any excess anywhere, leave it in the center where it can soak up the next drops of oil that come from that leaky old car. So again, side to side, up and down, and then leave the excess in the center once you've pulled the excess off of the edges clean lane. One final step that may be necessary is to let the blower idle and walk down where the wheels will come through this lane. This eliminates any possibility of tracking. And there you have it, before and after. For asphalt lanes, the same steps are used, with the exception of only treating the oil spot. If you have a lot of oils through the center of the lane, 
treat down the center of the lane. Blow out the excess, scrape up the gum spots, wire brush the oil spot, and then use BioDry asphalt conditioner on the oil spot only. Asphalt's made of hydrocarbons, so it's very difficult to clean hydrocarbons off of hydrocarbons. So what we're doing is protecting and drying out that asphalt spot. Using BioDry asphalt conditioner helps keep that spot dried out and protects the asphalt from further drops of oil that get dropped on it. For additional information, visit our website at www.bio-dry.com.